Imagine a battery capable of completely changing the way people view electric cars. That's exactly what Tesla is about to put on the road. This new generation of batteries promises something almost unbelievable. A 35% increase in range each year, a recharge time that plummets to just 5.9 minutes, and a production cost projected to fall to just $97 per kilowatt hour by 2026. For those who follow the market, this figure is a game changer. But the detail that most leaves any enthusiast speechless is its durability. Around 30 years of useful life. This isn't just technology. It's almost like giving the battery a lifetime of use, surpassing even the well-known LFPs, which until recently were seen as the benchmark for cost effectiveness. The curious thing is that all of this is being developed without the same fanfare as other companies that promise revolutions and take decades to deliver. Tesla prefers to work in silence, letting the numbers speak for themselves. This strategy is almost provocative. While competitors try to grab headlines with laboratory prototypes, Elon Musk's company is racing toward a real product, ready for mass production. And let's face it, there's nothing more intriguing than knowing that this technology is already in the final stages of development, while many people still don't believe something like this is possible. When we talk about a five, nine minute recharge, it's not just a matter of speed. It's a complete shift in the way we think about the logistics of using an electric car. Imagine stopping for a coffee and, when you return, finding your car fully charged. This leap not only reduces waiting time, but also eliminates one of the main arguments against the mass adoption of EVs, the infamous recharge anxiety. It's as if Tesla is about to make charging a car as quick and natural as filling up a gas tank. And what's more, this cost reduction to $97 per kilometer is not only a technical milestone, but also an economic one. It means that electric vehicles will finally be able to compete on equal terms, or even surpass, combustion cars in terms of final sales price, without relying on government incentives. It's almost like cutting the chains that still bind the industry to the past. For those who always thought EVs were for the elite, this change is an invitation to rethink their concepts. The secret to this revolution lies in the combination of new materials, advanced engineering, and a clear vision of where the industry needs to go. Tesla isn't just aiming for more range or faster recharge times. It's creating a complete package where every detail is optimized. From the cell's internal structure to the production process, everything has been rethought to extract maximum performance at the lowest possible cost. It's as if every screw, every layer, has a precise function in this innovative machine. And it's no exaggeration to say that this battery puts Tesla several years ahead of the competition. Many automakers are still trying to catch up to Tesla's current standards, while it's already preparing to set a new benchmark. It's like chasing an athlete who's already started running laps around the circuit while others are still lacing their shoes. The difference is that, in this case, each lap represents advancements that could redefine the market. What makes this story even more interesting is that, even with all this revolution underway, Tesla has continued to invest in the evolution of the batteries already on the market. It's almost as if it were tackling two projects simultaneously, the distant future and the immediate present. Year after year, the company manages to extract about 3% more energy density from its cells, something that may seem small, but which, when combined, results in significant leaps forward. This incremental approach keeps vehicles always up to date, without having to wait for a big change to feel real improvements in everyday life. While other automakers chase solid-state batteries as if they were the only possible path, Tesla continues to explore less noisy, but much more practical paths. It's as if to say, okay, you dream, but we deliver. Chemical improvements in the electrodes, tweaks to the shape and structure of the packs, everything is done with a keen eye for what can be applied on a large scale now, not 10 years from now. This mindset of constant delivery is what keeps the brand ahead, even when it's not grabbing headlines with futuristic promises. One notable point 
is how the company has been exploring new cooling techniques to keep batteries in optimal conditions, even during increasingly rapid recharges. Temperature control is vital to ensuring not only performance, but also the cell's lifespan. And here's a detail few people discuss. Tesla has managed to improve this management without increasing the size or weight of the cooling systems. This means the car doesn't become heavier or lose interior space to gain efficiency. And it's not just hardware. Energy management software also constantly evolves, fine-tuning battery behavior to extract maximum performance under different usage conditions. Small adjustments to charging and discharging control, current distribution, and even how the battery behaves in extreme weather have a huge impact on the driver experience. This combination of details is what makes many Tesla owners notice that, over the years, their car seems to get better instead of wearing out. While many focus solely on increased range, Tesla looks at the bigger picture. Small improvements in internal efficiency mean that the same amount of energy takes the car further. Reducing consumption during air conditioning use, acceleration, or steep climbs. It's as if every ounce of energy is treated as precious, managed with the same attention an athlete gives to breathing during a race. This philosophy of constant improvement also keeps costs under control. After all, even with all the advances, Tesla doesn't want to create a product that's too expensive for most people. On the contrary, the idea is that these gradual improvements pave the way so that when the big technological shift arrives, it can be implemented more cheaply and efficiently without having to reinvent the entire production process. It's curious to think that, for many years, battery evolution was treated as a purely physical matter. New materials, new formats, new processes. But Tesla has shown that there's a virtually unexplored field in this game. Software. Small lines of code, written with precision, have the power to transform an ordinary cell into a veritable performance rocket. And it's no exaggeration. Tweaks to electronic management allow a battery to accept loads that previously seemed impossible, reaching outputs between 500 kV and an impressive 1,000 kV, all without compromising its integrity. The magic lies in the intelligence with which the software controls every detail of the process. From the moment the charger is connected, the battery receives carefully calculated signals to optimize energy transfer. It's as if there were an invisible conductor directing an orchestra of electrons, ensuring that everything happens at maximum speed, but without the slightest chance of an instrument going out of tune. And when it comes to preserving battery health, this is simply vital. Another intriguing point is how these improvements can be delivered practically overnight. A simple remote update, one that arrives while the car is parked in the garage, can profoundly alter charging performance, thermal efficiency, and even range. It's an instant transformative power, which previously could only be achieved by replacing parts or installing new physical components. Now, all it takes is a software package, and the vehicle behaves as if it had received a new heart. This advancement also debunks a long-held belief in the automotive industry that only hardware changes bring significant gains. Tesla is proving that, with intelligent algorithms, it's possible to extract more power, reduce heat loss, improve throttle response, and even extend cell life, all without opening the hood. It's like getting a new car without spending a dime. The impact on the driver experience is immediate. Cars that previously took half an hour to reach a significant charge now do so in less than 10 minutes, infrastructure permitting. And this speed isn't just impressive, it completely changes the way people plan their trips. Long stops at charging stations are no longer a problem, but rather short, strategic breaks. In addition to recharging, the software also manages thermal performance, adjusting the cell's temperatures so they're always at the optimal operating point. This means that, even on extremely hot or cold days, performance doesn't suffer sudden drops. It's almost as if the car anticipates road conditions and prepares to handle them with maximum efficiency. When Tesla unveiled its 4680 cells at Battery Day 2020, many people interpreted it as just 
another technical update, but in practice, it was a game changer. It wasn't just a larger cell, it was a complete overhaul of how the battery is designed, manufactured, and integrated into the car. The promise of reducing the cost per kilowatt hour by up to 56% didn't come from a single trick, but from the sum of several strategic changes that, together, created a gigantic leap in efficiency. It's as if each percentage savings had been achieved with a scalpel in hand, cutting where it really matters. The 14% cost-effectiveness improvement came from simply increasing the cell size, reducing the number of components required, and making better use of internal space. Another 18% was gained by rethinking the production process, making it faster and less wasteful. The addition of silicon to the anode yielded a further 5% gain in energy density, while the restructuring of the cathode ensured a 12% increase in efficiency. Finally, the structural integration of the cells into the vehicle body added a final 7% cost reduction, eliminating the need for a heavy and expensive housing for the pack. This last detail, structural integration, was perhaps the most daring. By transforming the battery itself into part of the chassis, Tesla reduced weight, increased the car's rigidity, and improved power distribution. It's one of those solutions that seems simple when completed, but requires an almost obsessive level of engineering to function safely. This also helped improve thermal efficiency and allow for higher currents without causing temperature to become an enemy. Another point worth noting is how the 4680s were designed to work in conjunction with software advances. The larger format and lower internal resistance create the perfect environment for charging algorithms to extract maximum power without compromising cell integrity. It's a marriage of hardware and software that few companies can replicate. And, frankly, that's the secret to Tesla's competitive advantage. And the impact of this is already being felt in models that use this technology. The Cybertruck, for example, leverages the 4680's robustness and rapid discharge capacity to power powerful motors and ensure incredible acceleration without sacrificing range. In the Model Ys produced in Giga Austin, the story is similar. More range, more performance, and lower production costs. It's an equation that pleases both consumers and shareholders. Perhaps most interestingly, Tesla doesn't treat the 4680s as the end of the line. On the contrary, they're a solid foundation for continued experimentation with new chemistries and formats, always with the goal of reducing costs and increasing range. It's as if these cells are a springboard for even bolder leaps in the near future. While much of the automotive industry is enchanted by the promises of solid-state batteries, Tesla observes the scenario with a more cool and strategic eye. It's as if saying, let's see who can actually get this on the road before we talk about a revolution. Manufacturers like Chang'an and Huawei have already announced models with over 1,000 km of range and 1,200 kilo dollars charging, specs that sound almost futuristic. But behind these announcements lie immense obstacles, production costs, scalability, and, most importantly, long-term reliability. Tesla, rather than rushing into this blind race, chose to strengthen its existing dominance. LFP, lithium iron phosphate, and NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, batteries continue to be refined, gaining greater energy density and efficiency each year. Small chemical changes, such as increasing the amount of nickel in the cathode or adding more silicon to the anode, yield consistent gains without compromising stability. It's a less flashy but much safer path to keeping production high and costs low. This approach also aligns with one of the company's most ambitious goals, enabling a truly affordable electric car. The construction of the new LFP plant in Nevada is a crucial step toward this. Producing affordable batteries on American soil means cutting logistics costs, avoiding import tariffs, and, as a bonus, meeting the U.S. government's tax incentive requirements. It's the kind of move that doesn't grab global headlines, 
but drastically changes the bottom line at the end of the month. Interestingly, this strategy doesn't mean Tesla is ignoring solid-state technology. On the contrary, it continues researching this technology and even supercapacitors, but with its feet firmly planted on the ground. The idea is simple, only adopted on a large scale when tests show that the new solution is as stable and durable as current batteries. It's a stance very reminiscent of a chess player who would rather sacrifice a quick move to ensure checkmate a few moves later. Meanwhile, the competition suffers from unfulfilled promises. Companies that announced prototypes nearly a decade ago still don't have a commercially viable model on the road. In the meantime, Tesla continues to deliver increasingly efficient vehicles with faster charging and extended range, all using technologies it already masters. The difference is stark. On one side, ideas on paper. On the other, cars delivered to consumers. Another advantage of this approach is scalability. LFP and NMC batteries already have robust supply chains, adapted factories, and consolidated processes. Any improvements applied to these technologies can be implemented quickly and in millions of units, without the need to build an entire new infrastructure. This is exactly the opposite of what happens with solid-state projects which still require huge investments to move from prototype to showroom. Within the halls of Tesla, far from the cameras and official statements, lies a project that seems straight out of science fiction. It's an experimental battery made with materials much more common and affordable than lithium, but with such an absurd energy density that if it hits the streets, it could finally put an end to the era of lithium in electric vehicles. We're talking 700 Dwarud Tordwi Tikrin, three times more than the best lithium ion cells available today. Just to give you an idea, this would allow a car like the Model S to travel up to 1,000 miles on a single charge. The secret to this technology lies in the combination of innovative chemistry and a redesigned internal architecture. Rather than simply replacing one element with another, the engineers created an arrangement of components that work in a complementary manner, harnessing the full potential of each material. This not only increases capacity, but also improves thermal stability, one of the most critical aspects of increasing energy density so much. It's as if they've found the perfect balance between power and safety. Another huge advantage is cost. Because it uses abundant and easily obtainable elements, this battery could be produced for a much lower price than current LFP and NMC batteries. This opens up the possibility of even more affordable electric vehicles without relying on government subsidies. This is the kind of change that impacts not only the automotive market, but also sectors such as freight transportation, electric buses, and even light aviation, where range and weight are decisive factors. But of course, an innovation of this magnitude isn't born ready. There are still technical challenges to ensuring this battery operates safely under different conditions. Tesla is focused on addressing issues such as stable charging cycles, resistance to extreme temperatures, and standardization of large-scale production. These are considerable obstacles, but they appear to be being overcome faster than many imagine. The impact of this battery isn't limited to range. At 700 Dabwech Quarter, it would be possible to significantly reduce the size and weight of battery packs, freeing up interior space in the vehicle, or enabling more aerodynamic designs. This would also contribute to greater energy efficiency, as the car would require less force to move, further increasing range per charge. And there's a curious detail. Even though it's a disruptive technology, it can be adapted to work on the same production lines as current batteries. With relatively simple adjustments, this means Tesla wouldn't need to build an industrial empire from scratch to manufacture it. This compatibility is a huge advantage, as it speeds time to market and reduces the project's financial risks. If anyone still insists that Tesla electric cars are expensive, don't have enough range, or take too long to charge, they're probably not keeping up with the latest figures. In 2013, the production cost of a Tesla battery exceeded $800 per kitty. 